One of my favorite things when a new client sits in my chair is after I'm done shampooing them, their hair comes out like this and they're like, I don't have curly hair. I'm like, yes, you do. Normally I would be cutting their hair so I have to comb it through. But what I tell them is when you get out of the shower, wring out all of the water in your hair and don't comb it out. Then you're going to apply your curling products, a volumizer, depending on the type of curl and look that you're looking for. You're going to use a diffuser on low heat and low speed, but you're not going to dry it all the way. And remember that the top usually is a little straighter and your underneath is the curliest part, okay? So yes, you can air dry the rest of it, but you really want to focus on drying the front first. And lastly, do not forget your heat protectant because I know I want to make this last for a few days, so I am going to touch it up and curl it with a curling iron. Bonus, when your roots start to go in and if you have naturally curly hair, definitely start to wear it naturally curly because then it hides and diffuses the roots coming in. You can flip your head upside down for more volume, which I prefer. You can tilt it side to side, but do not touch it because it will get super frizzy. With the diffuser, or you could feed it going in and out so you're not touching it. Listen, there are a million ways how to do your curly hair, but this is about 80% dry. It's still a little damp, but it's 13 degrees where I'm at, so I had to dry it a little more. Summertime, it's a completely different routine, style, products. That's the beauty of curly hair is that everybody's curl pattern is different. There's so many different techniques. So definitely follow along for more.